Okay, all right, colleagues, I'm sorry that uh, it's been kicking me out and in and out for a few times. Anyway, it's an honor to be invited to give a speech uh, over here on healthy cities. And uh, since the whole meeting is about uh, forestry and uh, I also have my colleague actually, Jun Yang, help to include a couple of slides in here. So first, a brief history of healthy cities, the initiatives in China. It started in, you know, the world started in 1984 in Canada, but, but in China started in 1989 for a few pilot areas. And then uh, 94, you know, always through for some important cities during this period, actually, some colleagues from Australia, um, United States and also Europe have joined us to, to, to help the development of healthy cities in China through collaboration with the uh, Health Commission of China. And uh, you can see from this diagram, it's about 2016 that uh, uh, President Xi has elevated the country to build healthy cities and healthy townships. And uh, in 2018, there is a national healthy city indicator system issued. And during about that time between 2016 and 2018, I was asked, invited by Lancet to develop a, a, a commission paper uh, on healthy cities in China. So essentially we named that uh, uh, commission as Tsinghua Lancet Commission on Healthy Cities in China. So we have some, uh, uh, we identified a few major uh, achievements, uh, including China's uh, uh, healthy, um, uh, not healthy, it's, uh, 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 there are some national patriotic uh, health movement. And uh, then there are some uh, um, uh, uh, key efforts uh, we uh, realize that are needed to uh, uh, basically in that report, we find five uh, areas that need to be enhanced uh, in order to improve urban health and to address urban health challenges. So uh, hopeful uh, we were promoting that China could develop a healthy cities movement um, on top of the, in the uh, 1950s, 60s, uh, targeting uh, healthy uh, uh, environment. So as you can see that uh, 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 as uh, the pilot study and also some subsequent efforts in China, uh, healthy city movement and development in China has indeed uh, increased uh, the uh, city's preparedness to combat even COVID-19. So we have in this particular diagram shows that um, uh, while the pilot cities are actually able to uh, uh, diagnose uh, cases uh, more and earlier than the other cities that uh, uh, have not developed the uh, healthy city uh, efforts. And there are also, you know, main actions uh, in uh, we did a calculation on various kind of aspects uh, for building healthy cities in China. So um, more than 100 uh, prefectures uh, level cities have passed healthy city plan. And uh, we basically developed some, some evaluation uh, areas, including whether or not they have conducted baseline survey, whether or not the, the healthy city movement are being led by the uh, mayors or the leaders of the city and capabilities in the public health uh, in terms of uh, R&D investment. So you can see that there are quite some uh, number of uh, prefecture level cities that they are taking action. So there's some uh, progress being made in China. Now there are some new health challenges. Uh, basically, there is an elder population issue uh, in China and also major causes of deaths uh, among urban residents uh, are moving from 
uh, in the 19, before 1980s, uh, mostly uh, infectious disease, but now they are mostly chronic uh, diseases. And uh, cardiovascular diseases are ranked as the highest uh, over the years uh, since the 1990. So, um, um, of course, this is uh, being, um, um, last year it, it is additional, uh, uh, basically uh, COVID-19 as a new threat into the healthy cities uh, challenges. So um, starting from 2019, particularly uh, uh, through the help by the state council, not at the National Health uh, Commission level, it's elevated to the state uh, council to propose the action plan for healthy, healthy China in 2019 to 2030. We are interrupted somehow by the uh, COVID-19, but overall uh, the country is in action toward uh, accomplishing more than uh, 125 uh, indicators or aspects for healthy China development. And how do we align healthy cities with healthy China is actually an interesting research area. Uh, another thing is uh, like what I mentioned that uh, we do um, hope that, and uh, indeed a uh, lot of research are suggesting that there are great uh, health co-benefit from uh, green development in China. Um, basically, green development in cities are having a number of functions that benefit human health. Um, so these are the different areas which I will not uh, 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 read uh, one by one for the sake of time. So basically these are uh, my slides to uh, share with uh, colleagues um, for this uh, panel. Thank you.